we're gonna need three tiles. The name of the monster type. Sometimes multiple monster types. A generic initiative number. A list of abilities. When a player begins their journey with the game, you'll select one of the available characters. I don't know where those decks are, but I'm sure we'll find them later. Following normal focus rules, excluding figures it's already attacking. Any attack that does not specify a range. We're ready to start doing the setup. I'm gonna have to go get the other rule book, which is in at my house. It's gonna be 15 minutes. Don't here, worry. Let me look in the index. If you have here, be in this monster here, here is gonna be number right. monster. Um, one. This monster is number uh, two. I gotta read that section. Because in case Times we do damage to each three. of them. All right. So if we do damage to monster number one, we're gonna do it on camera. And you know what? Back. We're gonna play it live. We'll play it live! Hey, everybody. It's Mike Delicio. <laughs> Everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Wendy Yee. I'm Roy Cannon. I'm Z Garcia. Today we're uh, playing, well, I'm playing for the second time, but they're playing for the first time, Freelancers. It's a new game from Plat Hat. So to this end, even though lots of random events and things happen in this game, there will be some spoilers. Um, so keep that in mind if you want to watch it or not. I don't think it's that big of a deal, because I'm excited to see this, and I've already seen it, so whatever. Let's go. Also, we have different characters, which we'll come back to in a second. And secondly, we're probably not going to finish because this is a game that you can pause and save. Okay, so, nice. But before we start, everyone gets a job. There's seven jobs. So Z, you have two of them. You're the lookout. You're yes. going to keep track of dials for when we get to a bad guy. Yes, dials. Uh, there's some dials. <laughs> yeah, like right on. <laughs> More importantly, Z, you're the cartographer. Uh, so you keep track of matters. you keep track of the map. So we're playing on map A for this one, and I already wrote the code up here in the top corner, which no one can see. Done. But that's in case we uh, something goes wrong, we can come back and play the same same scenario. Okay. Okay. Roy is the medic. Yep. Where he uh, keeps track of the wounds of the party. Are okay. you CPR certified? And yes. he's also the Don't bookkeeper, which it. means he gets to turn to the page. Of I the get book. to turn the correct page. Yay! Don't mess it up. That's the best part. Wendy is the Influencer, which means she keeps track of, well, turn order. Okay. And my Instagram page. And Scout, where she's going to keep track of time. This is actually a very important job. She'll be pulling tokens from a bag, and when they fill up here, everything gets harder. All right, and anybody if else we get to here, we lose the game. Anybody else oh, want the, no. the important job? No, no, no. The I most important job is mine, the game master. I get the press buttons on the app. Yay, that's, sweet. that's a fun job. So we're all playing different characters. You put together two different characters. So these show yours off on the main thing here. All right, no problem. I am a merfolk artificer. What does that mean? What is an artificer? I, I mess with artifacts. I make things. I like to mess with gear. He's artificial, that's what it means. That too, oh, partly, are you an partly bionic. All right, oh, Roy. That's why you have a I am a stiltkin private eye, injured cold. Okay. Let's do this. What's the name of your guy again? My guy's name is Fisher Gear. Okay. I am a mouser gambler. I was caught in a casino that burnt down. I burnt both sides of my tail. No, burnt one side of my tail? Yes. So I will occasionally flip coins. Your story's here. To uh, decide. Oh, I have an actual story? <laughs> yes. Oh, I made up a bunch of crap about him. <laughs> okay. And I am a goblin gunslinger. We're not going to go through all the stories to save some time, but... Each of the these has a story in the back, which you then can insert some of these words. Well, Z, why don't you just read yours? Your one story, the artificer, artificers. How do I do this? Uh, it's oh, up here there we go. At the top, and okay. then you, you'll slide these numbers in when needed. Oh wow! It's like mad. Lips. Fine. So it says, wow. "Few thought it would amount to much after my family was wiped out in a tragic harpoon accident, but tragic. I vowed to be more than a pitiable orphan and threw myself into a demanding program of self-education." I became fascinated with blowfish and the remnants of ancient technologies. After discovering I'm a terrible cook, I went with the tech instead. I shall scour the world for the parts I need, then craft something worthy of remembrance. I love it. All right. I love blowfish. All right, so we'll take the map back, and we're gonna get. We're just gonna jump right into it, and we'll just show you how it plays as we play it. Done. So it says, "Bookkeeper, turn to page 35." That's on you. Oh, that's me. Ooh. Your job. My daughter was trying to see if she could do it one time. One flip. Oh, like the single. She has yet well, to do it. I'm not going to do that. I'll be Maybe after it's played a few more times. It's hard to do with a new one. Fine. There we go. The we marketplace. The world 
is a wide, weird place. But here in the hub, the capital city, everything is pretty normal. There's all sorts of culture to explore, like mole yodeling, interpretive yogurting, and even the occasional mutant burning. The hub earned its name for being the center of the known world. Its shifting neighborhoods rest upon a clockwork-powered foundation that constantly moves everything around, creating new urban configurations every 52 minutes or so. The clockwork machinery thrusts steam through enormous pipes that wind up amidst the city's numerous terraced levels, ending inside the royal castle itself. There, the king listens to their toots and whistles, interpreting them. And this is how policy is set for the city and lands beyond. But all that doesn't really concern you lot. You're just a bunch of good-for-nothing, down-on-your-luck nobodies. But all is not lost in a gig economy. Anybody and everybody can be a freelancer. When monsters need eviction from caves, ancient temples need despoiling, or entitled nobles require protection from, well, everybody who isn't them, they can turn to you, their neighborhood adventuring piece of garbage. With your <laughs> reputation can earn you plenty of work, but you have yet to even find your first gig, let alone make a name for yourselves. Despite that, you've got a handful of followers already, and that's something. Scala is your faithful know-it-all. Grunko, son of Grung, an able and pragmatic porter. And Cookie, a weird camp cook who only gets you sick sometimes. As followers go, they aren't the worst. But if you could make a reputation for yourselves, you could attract a whole mess of henchmen and hirelings. And so, you find yourself in the city marketplace, hoping to find someone who will hire you. Alright, so we're going to begin the round here. So the way that this works now is in uh, influencer order, we're going to place our person on one of these. Mm -hmm. If there's a red one, you have to go there. There are no red ones. We're fine. If there's blue, only one person can go there. And if it's green, multiple people can go there. And the, and the, when I played this, it has a great tutorial, by the way. Um, they're like, just pick one. Okay. Don't, worry, don't worry about this stuff right now. Hmm. And they always, usually there's like a timer of 45 seconds to do this. So... Z, your high as an influence, so pick where you what you'd like to do in town here. Fire. I'm going to visit the magic shop. Okay. Next. Junk shop. Junk shop. I want to, uh... I'm going to pick a pocket. I'm going to help move boxes. Maybe I'll get some money from that. Well, I mean, we're trying to find stuff to do, so I'm going to actually look at flyers to see if we can get a job. Okay. So then once we've done that, we now just go through them in numerical order. Okay. So... Wendy, you went to help move boxes, mm -hmm. so your mic goes up one. So we all have stats here, so you're going to fill in the first box for might. Whenever you make a test in this game, you roll a 20-sided die, and if your stats go up, you will also add a die that's above it. So when, oh. you, when she does a might test, we'll now roll 20 plus a 4-sided. Cool. Nice. Mm. Uh, also, you need to make a might check right now. So I rolled these things. And I you got an eight. That's a, a terrible okay. roll. All right. Now. This one was good. Yes, it was. So whenever you make a roll, though, okay. you can request aid from other players. Anybody else can gain a stress. Stress is easily gotten rid of, more well, more easily than a wound later on, and you can re-roll one of the dice. So I'm going to do this. Okay. Take that, let you re-roll the 20. Slightly still, better. Still bad. So 14, it's 1 to 14 or 15 or higher. <laughs> Anybody else want to feel stressed on my behalf? We're a team. <laughs> sure. We're a team of terrible Go, people. roll again. This yes. is it, though. Yes. 18. There, you go. Yeah. there we go. All right, so we entered 3502. They also have a lot of the numbers here. Oh, so I love that. You don't have to type it. I can help with those boxes, you tell the gruff stiltkin behind the bronze giraffe store. He stops loading boxes and turns to you, sizing you up with his compound eyes. I don't know. He buzzes, leaning on his cart. These are boxes packed with bronze giraffes. Your arms look skinny as heck. <laughs> These mighty <laughs> meat machines? You ask, flexing your muscles. Just tell me where you want the boxes. The stiltkin looks skeptical, but points at the cart with his antennae. 
Back aching, you complete the assignment. Never heard that word. Mr. happily hops into the cart. He gives you a respectful nod. Why don't you help yourself to a box of giraffes as pain? You figure you can always sell the bronze, so you eagerly accept your award. You watch in pride as the Stiltkin rides off. Then you shoulder your heavy reward and walk away. You've just turned the corner when you hear a door open in the alleyway and a shopkeeper cry out, Who stole all my giraffes? Good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> all right, so when you work faster. You're going to get a title. So over the game, titles, they may come back to haunt you later on. And each title is either lawful, that's the first one, or chaotic. Wendy, this is a lawful one, and you now have the title Mighty Meat Machine. Ooh. That's amazing. I'm a Mighty Morphin Meat Machine? You also get one gold. In this game, whenever you get gold, you fill in just the gold in the track here, and as it goes up, different things will happen. Okay. Does she have to circle lawful or chaotic? Yeah, yeah, it's a lawful. Lawful right here. This is lawful. I don't understand that since you literally just robbed the guy, but <laughs> whatever. You know but I did it with a good heart. All right, Z, you're visiting the junk shop, so. All right, so it says I choose one of the following. I trade treasure minus one, treasure plus two. I don't know what that means. You can trade one treasure card and to get two. Do I have one? You do not. Trident? No, that's something else. Uh, I can get something special or I can treat myself treasure plus one. Ooh. I want something special. Treat yourself. So what is that? 3503. You browse the various wares and junk in the shop. Hmm. Look what I found, me hearty! Calls Cookie, your camp cook, from deep within the store. It's not food, is it? You call back. This isn't a grocer's cookie. You warn. We are not going to catch lead poisoning again. But then he finds you, flashing a bony grin and holding a small box labeled, A Friend for Lonely Nerds. You can see why Cookie showed this to you. It's ancient and covered in rust. When you finally manage to force it open, you find complex metal parts, a glowing crystal, and some poorly written schematics written in seven different languages. Age is nine and up, you read aloud. Aye, matey, it sounds a little complicated for me, but you can have at it. All right, so see... This gives you luck plus one. This is a re-roll, free re-roll in the future. Yes. And you get story card 37, schematic robotic friend. Bam. Okay. I've never been this happy. <laughs> right, so this is a this is a trinket. You can have two trinkets on the side of your sheet. Okay. And this also adds plus two to any roll you do that is smarts. Oh, nice. And in the future, whenever we get to take a camp action, you can discard this to get Otto from the story deck. Okay, so I, I build him. I build Otto. Okay, I love it. Little buddy. <laughs> my friend, my real All right, friend. who's next? Me? Pick a yep. pocket. Tell me what happens, Z. This is agility plus one. Yeah. Make an agility check. Okay. Don't bomb it. You bombed it. That, that was six. worse than I did. It's six. Roy. You want to try again? You this need a 15 or better. Right? <laughs> this is a cooperative. You need a 15 right. or better. You got Indeed. it. Okay, 3507. Just what do you think you're doing? The angry dog guy barks, looking down where your hand dog slipped guy. into his pocket. I was returning your wallet to you, you promise. Like hell you was! He growls. Go ahead, you tell him. You'll find it there in your pocket. He does so and nods to you in appreciation. Um, sorry for the suspicion, stranger, and, uh, thank you for the kind deed. Wait a second. My money! It's all gone! Oh, dear, you say with a shake of your head. Alas, I found it in such a state. These are troubling times. Indeed. He agrees. But you deserve a reward for the bother. Come <laughs> pay to the bank. They'll see you are properly compensated. Too kind, you say with a bow. Slipping his money into your back pocket. All right, so I get one. Oh, my God. You're <laughs> horrible people. I'm going to get a gold and I get a treasure. So I draw the top treasure. It's a great helm. So this gives me minus five to cents. <laughs> but I can. it gives me an extra heart and I can equip an extra armor. So this is, I can I have more it. than one. So did you pick the helm out of his pocket or the yep, coin? Yeah, 100%. All right, what happens to Roy? All right, today? I'm looking at flyers. This is sends plus one. So whenever I cover so up a coin here. Yep, you cover a coin, then you get a coin, yeah. Hey. Your combo, com and then, com combo. And then we do 3508. Coin bill? You notice.
notice a flyer advertising a magical improv show. Worse, the flyer threatens audience interaction. These are truly dark times. But you also spy an advertisement for the Ship Shape Shops, a powerful merchants group seeking protection for a journeying caravan. There is also a wanted poster with a scary face upon it. Scala is with you and looks up at the posters. Best to choose something practical. She advises. All right, Royce, you have three options here. Destroy the ad for the magical improv show. Uh, take the flyer for the caravan job or take the wanted poster. I think I'm going to go with uh, caravan job. Okay. Initially, you hesitate to even take the flyer for the caravan job. First, it looks pretty old. But also, Ooh. can you think of a more cliched way to start your career? I mean, <laughs> like get in a bar fight or kill some rats in someone's basement while you're at it. You sigh and take the flyer anyway. The freelancer's got to eat. Scala smiles happily and pats your back. Okay, Roy, you get the title Job Hunter. It's mm -hmm. a... It's a... Lawful? Lawful. Okay, good. Gosh, that's great. It looks over fantastic. Okay, so then once we've gone through that... We do whatever it says at the end of a round. So that's 3509. Here we go. You are talking amongst yourselves when you are approached by a nifty dwarf fellow with a magical air about him. His beard is long and gray. His blue hat with golden stars is tall and pointy. And his wooden pipe has a very long stem. He is the perfect portrait of a wizard. Freelancers! He cries, the wide sleeves of his robed arms drooping as he holds them aloft. Behold! It is none other than I, Feldemax the Great. And you look like the sort of freelancers I seek. Yes, indeed. Just the sort of dungeon-delving, treasure-hunting killers I require. Treasure. You're really digging his vibes, so you all quickly tell him you're in. Pray, do not commit just yet, he urges. For my quest is the most perilous kind. You see, my friends, I aim at nothing less than to slay. He wiggles his fingers in a grand gesture. A dragon! You all gasp, and he continues. Yes, tis a morally bankrupt fiend who dwells upon a distant peak, sitting on its pile of ill-gotten gold, hatching schemes to steal away those things that do not belong to it. Scala speaks up nervously. Uh, I've heard the last freelancers who messed with her stole her egg. They all died horribly. Mr. Veldemax, sir, one of you interrupts. That sounds like just the sort of job we've been looking for. Excellent, cries Veldemax the Great. Now, dragons are only weak during the solstice, and the end of the current one draws nigh. There is no time to lose. Where are we headed? You ask, pulling out your map. I know a clever hermit who is sympathetic to our aims, and so he will be our first stop. Onward to riches and glory! All right, it says, draw something at map maker, draw something at space 85 to remind us there's a hermit there, and something at space 87 to remind us there's a dragon there. Ooh, I want to see your dragon. Okay, meanwhile, the bookkeeper can close the book. We'll take these people out. Shh. So now we're going to travel on the map. So in this particular map, for the first thing, we only have one space to travel to. Hermit? Yeah, there's a hermit there. <laughs> That's a pretty good drawing of a, a dragon. Yeah, it's a good dragon. See, we'll show you guys in a bit. <laughs> All right, so put the map here real quick. So we're here at start. So cross that off. Because we can't go back to that location again in this, okay. in this thing. And then we'll draw a line to the next spot. But to travel takes one time. So Wendy's going to pull a token from the bag. Uh -oh. mm. And as the game goes by, we'll add or subtract tokens from the bag. Right here? Uh, well, Reverse. it depends what you drew. So she drew this hazard symbol. If we get three of these, then this clicks up one. We throw that token and all these tokens in the bag. So there's okay. three ways for that to happen. Are these bigger than those ones? Do we just get irradiated? Or... No, just different things will happen. Just different things will happen. So we're here. Okay. Yep. We drew a line. We're at some fire. That's a camp. Here we go. Fire. We're at camp. Where did you grow up? You ask Veldemax the Great, who sits on the ground drinking from a flask. The dwarf wizard shrugs. A little mountain town out in the smoke. 
books. It was Dullsville, that's for sure. But it wasn't all bad. Did pretty good with the ladies, if you know what I mean. Yes, sir. I was a god's damn stud back in my heyday. He shakes his head angrily. There were plenty who were happy to cast their lot with me, you betcha. I was a catch back then. He snarls. <laughs> Still should be. You let him go back to drinking as his mood turns sour, but take heart in your patron's raw virility. Heck, maybe some of it rubbed off on you. All right, so all players, <laughs> all players can heal one stress oh. or discard a corruption. No one has corruption. Stress, right? Oh, yep. well, you're all healed. That story did not relieve stress, I'll tell you. You're that. healed, Okay. Right? Oh, that's great. Now, we are allowed to, we have to decide as a party, we can all spend one time. If we spend one time, we can all take a camp action. Now, Z has a card that can be a camp action, but you can cross off one of these camp actions here. Ooh. Now, we all have different ones. So, supplies... If you have that action, just throws a little supply token in the bag. When it's pulled, nothing happens. Ooh. Okay. okay. It saves us time. Um, luck gives you luck tokens. Corruption lets you get rid of corruption. Treasure, draw treasure. There's things that give you coins. There's things that give you followers. When you get a follower, you'll draw a follower from the bag and put them under here. We also will throw their token in the bag. Ooh. Um, and they'll give you special benefits, maybe. You just get one per game, though? Followers? Like each one of these things... That's correct. This one's per game. Does this right here mean plus two to my total? Yes, you'll roll and then you add two to it. Okay. So, are we going to take time to do camp actions? I think we should. I want to draw cards. Well, yeah, the thing okay, too is that right, so draw another all token. these camp actions, you can like minimize some of the risk and stuff. I'm definitely building my robot while y'all are talking. Okay, so Wendy drew one of our followers. So, um, we will. This guy. Uh, hang on. Okay, so Wendy drew number three. This is one of our Listen, followers. Listen, boss, says Grunko, son of Grown, in a rare moment of chattiness. A lot of people look at a fellow like me and assume I ain't bright. You aren't sure that's true, but as a policy, you never disagree when someone hotter than you puts themselves down. He continues. The truth of it is that most people talk too much and fail to listen when they should. Their lives are one big bluff. And they assume you must be stupid if you're not running some kind of game yourself. You nod. The Yak Man is making a lot of sense. But you aren't sure <laughs> what brought this about. Sure, I get it. You say with a shrug. Why are you telling me all this? What's your angle? He gives you a long look before bleeding out uproarious laughter. Ha ha ha! That's a good one, Grunko, son of Grung, says with stern respect. You almost had me there, mate. You almost had me. <laughs> He clops away, pulling his massive cart. You don't know what happened, but feel confident you won that exchange with the burly Sherpa. So this never goes back in the bag, but it says we get a uh, risk minus once, so we take that and throw it back in the bag. Hey. Oh, sweet. Okay, so that was pretty good for time, so now we all can do something. So what's going on here? All right, I'm doing this for sure. I want to build my robot. What kind of robot is it? It's S a fancy-friendly robot. S24. Auto. Oh, robot. it's a follower. Find, find um, Otto. Over here? See if what you can find Otto it. What does Otto look like? Well, they have numbers on him, so he oh. would be 24, I think, maybe. 24. Anyway, so you put him underneath one of your followers. Yeah! Oh, look at him. He's adorable. Otto the robot. Before a player makes a skill check, you may give them this follower to allow them to use your skills for that check. This will never happen. <laughs> Is that what he looks like? Is that him? That's, uh, yeah. Right, so throw yeah, that. that's the fellow. So throw it in the bag. It in the bag. I want to do plus one follower also. <laughs> okay. All right. Roy, you have Flora. That's uh, 18. Goes in the bag. I prefer Fauna. What, is, what does she do? Um, uh, when a supplies token is drawn from the time bag, you may give this follower to another player to heal a hit point. Okay. When do you want to healer. Um, I'm going to go for some lucky. Lucky McLuckluck. So How many tokens? Two? Two, two, two luck tokens. So does this also two need luck. to go in the bag as far as followers? We did. Okay, perfect. I'm also okay. taking a follower. I got Cruncher, the accountant. That's 12. When a supplies token is drawn from the time bag, we might want to throw some supplies in there at some point. You can give this follower to another player to gain gold plus one. All right, so camp actions are done. It's time to move on. Where do we move to? So we need to spend a time to move, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Moving, moving, moving. We're going, we only have one option. We go right there. 
I don't know what that means. Exclamation. <clears throat> it's a little. That weird. is. Well, actually, it does tell you down there. Okay, it's a fortune teller. All right, here we go. Mm. You pass a fortune teller whose cart bears enough cliches to assure of authenticity without being culturally offensive, which, let's be honest, is reassuring these days. She beckons you over, and you all eagerly circle around her, hoping for something good. She looks into each of your eyes. Her gaze pierces your souls, and you squirm as she seems to look not just into you, but past you, as if peering at some cosmic entity who controls you like some sort of puppet in a game. <laughs> she speaks to you, only her words seem aimed at the cosmic entities, and she asks, How are y'all feeling about swear words tonight? Anyone not feel comfortable about that? It's best if everyone is honest. All right, so we're going to pick no. I, I'm not going to say how I know this, but... The person with the largest vocabulary gets the title The Reserved. That's you, Z. Tom. Tom. I don't know, Z is maybe... I Z. just mispronounced my last Yeah, it was vocabulary. like, your vocabulary is huge, you just mispronounce it. Thank you. Yeah. Do it, right. The Reserved. You are the reserved, too. I would have definitely been like, extra cursing, please. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Says the fortune teller. And now that I've calibrated my seeing stone to your party, what one secret of the universe can I reveal to you? What does saute me? Cookie asks, <laughs> but everyone tells him to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so we can pick. Where? Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm surprised you pronounced it correctly. Where is the one we seek? What can defeat the dragon? Or where can we find riches? Oh, we have to ask him one of those questions. Defeat the dragon. I guess defeat the dragon. Yeah, right, sure. That's the practical side of things. Sure, we'll pick the practical one. They say that frost can temper the dragon's flames, but place not too much trust in the cold. Haste is the greatest weapon of all. She leans in close. Regardless, one among you will do what needs to be done, but not until they are forced into action. Then, without warning, she keels over dead, unable to answer another question. <laughs> Seems convenient for plot purposes. <laughs> All right, Wendy, time to travel again. Right. Before we travel, where are we going from here? All right, so we can go to a tavern... Or we can go to an event over here, event eighty-one. If we're if haste is the thing, we should maybe just go straight ahead. All right, we're cutting one out. Yeah, and we're good right now. We're healthy. We're fine. We don't need tankers and rails. Tavern. All right, we got. Why does that have a plus sign on that it? That means draw again, Wendy. Ew. Why would you do that, Wendy? What? Better be my friend. It's okay. It's safe. No, I don't know about that. Here we go. Here we go. That's mostly safe. Eighty-one. As you leave the hub behind, the landscape turns rural. You are in an area many refer to as the spokes. The spokes are the main roads that lead to and fro the hub. This is where much of the food for the central city is grown, on farms and homesteads and small hamlets not worth mentioning in travel brochures. It's a great way of life for those who don't fit into the hustle and bustle of a metropolitan area, or who don't want to risk being ground up alive in the city's gears. Hey, it happens. Although it's common for people out here to be eaten alive by mutants or burned at the stake by bandits, for many, it's better than being burdened with scary youth culture. You make some <laughs> small talk with a local farmer and learn that there is a village ahead where you'll need to procure a boat of some kind to continue. All right, cartographer needs to draw something near Space 82 to remind us we'll need a boat there. You thank the kind farmer and they offer you to spend the night in their barn. It's not fancy, but it's better than nothing. That night, before turning in, you have a smoke ring contest. To your dismay, Veldemax does not join in. This disappoints you, since you'd love to see some wizardly smoke effects. Regardless, everyone has a good time blowing smoke rings, even your followers. Scala blows a thin, wispy ring. Oh, I hope it's good enough. She whinges nervously. I've been reading up on making good rings. By the way, did you know this stuff is literally poisonous? Grunko, son of Grung, blows a thick, utilitarian ring that certainly gets the job done. He says nothing but nods in satisfaction. 
Cookie, the camp chef, blows a greasy ring that smells questionable. And you at least agree he's as good at smoke rings as he is at cooking. But now it's your turn, and by golly, it's time to impress everybody. All right, so in influence order, it says, all players take turns bidding a number between zero and three. The player who bids the most gains that much stress, but they also get influence plus four, which will slide you up on the track that many spaces. Okay. You're, you're later then? Or earlier? You'll be earlier. Mm-hmm. And the title, Charge Hamp. A chaotic title. All right, so first the bid is you, Z. How I'll bid one stress. I'm bidding zero. <laughs> I don't smoke. I'm also bidding zero. I'm going to bid two. <laughs> okay, Give me the really, poison. When you really wanted the title. All right, so you get two what's my, stress. What's my title? Charge. Charge champ. champ. It's Char chaotic. Champ. <laughs> Does Char have two R's or one R? Just one. Champ. All right, where are we going next? And then you move up on the thingy, right? To the top? or yeah, four, which is, in our game, it's to the top. Okay, Sweet. cool. Yeah, nice. Oh, I got a crown. All right, Wendy, time us. <laughs> It is time to... Are we moving on? Ooh, yeah. a follower. Number two. Number two. Maybe this is Cookie. That is Cookie. Veldemax and Cookie return to the group from somewhere carrying a pail of something. What have you got there? One of you asks. Cookie proudly shows the contents of the bucket, and you see it's full of snails with dark blue skin and bright orange shells. Spin the snails, Veldemax declares. A dwarven delicacy. Scala clears her throat politely. Um, aren't those poisonous? Yes, yes. Veldemax rudely waves her words away. Are the parasites inside their shells, your aunt? He picks a snail up and cracks the shell like an egg. And a strange red blobby creature falls out and into a frying pan Cookie holds beneath. Cookie beams. <laughs> Can you believe that, matey? He laughs excitedly. <laughs> you learn something new each day. You leave them to their cooking and later try the result. The fried parasites are surprisingly durable, which is the nicest thing you can say. Just keep on chewing and chewing. Hey, supplies plus one. Throw it in the bag. That's good. Hey. We got supplies. Yeah, we eat snail. And Cookie's out of the Parts bag of now, snails. though. Discard his token out of the bag. All right, okay. where are we at next? All right, so we are going to a trading post. You meet some salesmen in cheap suits. They smell like coffee and desperation, but are eager to close some deals. All right, so at this point, here we can trade stuff with each other as much as we want. Would you like some and then each person in influence order can discard one treasure to get two, discard a treasure to get an experience point. So on the back of your player sheet, you have experience. When you get to level two, oh, wow. you'll get a special ability. Oh man. Or you can get gold plus one. So uh, who's I at the top I'm... of the thing? When do you are? Would you like to, you don't have any treasure, right? I don't. So you basically have to take a gold. Uh, gold it is, so then I get another reroll token. You are going to be able to reroll to your I heart's content. I am so lucky. Who's next? Z, what are you doing? Um, you don't have treasure either, right? What is treasure? Let's see, treasure card. card. No. I got this armor, that's Where's treasure. Where does that go? Where do we put it? It just goes in various spots. Okay. You have your starting one. But it's your own. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm going to take that gold. I like the gold. All right, who's next? Me? You. Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna take the gold because that gives me another follower. I'm so two excited. followers now. I have Sir Croakley, the Frog Knight. Whenever I get stressed, I can get this to someone else to get rid of two corruption. Uh, he is 23. Goes in the bag. Nice. Sir Croakley. Having them in the bag is awesome. Yes. I'm, gonna take a, I'm gonna take a gold, which gives me a treasure. Yes. That makes sense. You get the potion of smooth tongue. And later Ooh. you can trade the treasure for you two can treasure? discard this to get two followers. <gasps> Five influence or risk two. So I, can, I only have one follower, right? Yeah, well, maybe that follower will die. Not that or that I can give it away when we pull supplies out of the bag and heal myself one hit point. That's true. All right, we good? Time okay. to travel, Wendy. Let's travel, y'all. Let's travel. What companion would like to join us today? 
Number one. Oh, now we have uh, Scala. Scala is your party smarty. And among other duties like reading and writing, she always helps with any medical needs you have. She is shy and awkward, but ultimately is the closest thing you have to a doctor. She passes through the party, offering medical assistance to all who need it. Uh, hi! Um, can I, uh, help anyone not, you know, die? Uh, all players can heal one hit point. Well, well mm -hmm. so much for that. Mm -hmm. You can heal one, right? Well, that's or true. It's stress oh, or that, that stress. would still work. Oh, okay. I'm assuming. Okay, right. we are at crossroads now. All right, crossroads. Yes, that's it. It's been a long time since you had a Who's case. The private eye? So of course, yeah. one day you just you. happened to bump into several okay. potential clients at the same time. Oh. One is a dame who sure fills out a dress. Because that's what slimes do. Her husband is going missing, and she fears the worst. Another possible client is a lanky mur who claims to be the victim of theft. The other, a terrified stiltkin who says she's just uncovered a fiendish conspiracy. Each case is compelling, but there is only time for one. All right, so this, listen. Help the slime with the missing husband. Listen to the victimized mirror. Or analyze the Stiltkin's conspiracy theory. I'm a Stiltkin, and uh, I'm all about the conspiracy theories every year. Feels all... Uh, <clears throat> all I see you're ignoring Listen. the mer folk. You do you. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh. I had a picture of a mantis in my purse that went missing. Your new client oh. tells you. I looked for it, but the more places I looked, the more questions I asked, the more I kept finding things I didn't want to. Take a look. It's all right here. And the Stiltkin unrolls some documents on the ground. The blueprints for the new city council building. That is from Councilwoman Green to Domino Mornetti. A transcript of the priest's confession. You gotta believe me, detective. This is big. It exposes the whole rotten system. Relax, friend. You tell her. I'll take the case, but you may not like what I uncover. But I have all the proof right here. She insists. Do you? Have you checked your purse a second time? She does so and exclaims. My picture of a mantis. It was in my purse the whole time. I must have missed it when I looked before. Hey, I'm the best at what I do. And she turns to look at the documents. What about all this? Did I just make it all up in my head? No, you assure her. That's super real and super messed up. But it's got nothing to do with your missing <laughs> picture. Now, about my fee. All right, you get the title, Purse Inspector. That's a lawful title. That's <laughs> <laughs> super real and super messed up. <laughs> you also get two gold. Yes. Oh, oh I get God. to. Uh, I get to remove one of these. Ooh. Yeah. This is like, back and back. This is going so much better than my last game. It's the lack oh. of cursing. Oh, that's great. Time to travel, Wendy. All right. Okay, wait. We need to figure out where we're going. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. Well, okay. she can still pull that. Yeah, go ahead. I keep following, calling. I keep getting all the followers though. Now, what number is that so, one? Number eighteen. Oh, that's the one that I have, Flora. Hey, you wanted to get rid of her. Does someone have the follower? Yes, because they might be dead. Okay, I've learned. Flora comes to you excitedly. I found some bee pollen over there. That and some blue mold can be mixed together to prevent infections. Do we have blue mold? You ask. Yep. She says. It's on pretty much all of Cookie's food supplies. Should I save it? The potency won't last long. All right, so Roy, here's your choices. Choose a player to heal three hit points. Choose a player to get rid of all the corruption. Or we add one supplies. I think we're just going to do supplies. Man, well, we're, like, we're like rocking it. You know. All right, so either we have a, an option here. We can go to a lawful shrine or we can um, go to another campsite. But, like, it's beyond that. So, Lawful Shrine is faster. So, yeah, Lawful Shrine, then after that, we've got a duel, and then we go to the boat place. Or we can go to the campsite, then we go to a dungeon, then we go to a threat, then the boat place. Threat sounds not good. We need a boat, or we get a boat. Uh, I think we get a boat. I'm gonna need that boat. So, which way? Do we What's get the a shorter boat? way? That has less threats and less dungeons? The question is, do we want to go to a dungeon or not? No. I vote no. What do you all vote? What do you vote, Tom? I kind of want to go to that. <laughs> <laughs> but then we have to deal with the threat. Well, the lawful shrine thing 
Is that does that have to do with our titles or lawful hey, titles? Ahead. What titles? Where's your I'm title? Very I don't believe in titles. <laughs> you have one lawful. I'm I'm, I'm you super have two lawful. lawful. Yep. I'm lawful and what is pretty. I, I'm I'm assuming you might have to do something with that. I don't know. Maybe. All right. I guess that's lawful shrine then. All right. Let's do it. Gentle thunder rolls across the fells as you come upon an ancient barrow set into the side of a lush green hill. A heavy, mossy stone which once served as its door lies on the ground. This is the grave of St. Quellen. Scala says. They say she single-handedly defeated the human horde of Heston. With only an axe and her unyielding will. Clouds gather overhead. All right, this next entry is for the player with the most lawful titles. That's right. All right, Roy. You get all the stuff today. I get all the stuff. What happened to the door? You ask. Freelancers looted the place long ago. Scala shrugs. You know how it is. Seems like a shame. You muse. A great hero like that having their grave desecrated? curtain of rain begins to sweep down from the hills toward you. Ah, maybe we should get out of this blasted rain, matey. Ask Cookie. For some reason, everyone looks at you. Okay, Roy. Pick one. Shelter in the tomb or press on? Shelter in the tomb. Yeah. You decide to enter the ancient barrow and wait out the rain. As the others start a small fire to warm themselves, you walk back further into the chamber and find a heavy stone sarcophagus thrown open and looted. Another choice, leave an offering or do nothing? I'm going to say leave an offering. Sucker. Suddenly you are struck with a vision. It's fleeting, but clear. You see a troll wearing heavy armor that is broken, burnt, and bloodied. Somehow you recognize her to be St. Quellen herself. The troll... Wounded and clearly dying comes to a tree that reaches up to the sky like a clawed, six-fingered hand. Under this tree, she builds a stone cairn and hides a distinctive axe. She turns and looks at you with a weary smile. But how? The vision is gone, but the image of the axe stays with you. Okay, now this this is part of the game here. You need to describe what you imagine the axe you saw look like to us. Okay. What did it look like, you vision-having beast? So, one side is an axe with all bloody, jagged edges, and the other side is like a blue spike that almost looks like a shard of ice. Does it glow? Did it glow? Answer the woman. Oh, I don't know. It wasn't glowing currently. I don't know. It was a vision. I don't know. You leave the ancient barrow of St. Quellen. Spend one time. Oh, it says if you draw a follower, we throw it back in the bag without resolving it. Nope. This is the closest you're going to get to the hex. It's describing it. Later, you see a tree on a hill. <gasps> its ancient branches make it look like a hand with six fingers we should reaching keep going. the sky. Let's get out of here. You feel drawn to this place. No. There, you find a cairn of stones. You feel a sense of warmth as you search it. And find an ancient in... axe that perfectly matches the one you saw in Andy your Dufresne. vision. Aaron, yeah. All right, Roy, you get story card 73 Axe of Human's Bane. And your axe. If I had a picture, you can keep it or like give one. it to another player. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do that. Could you imagine if it looked exactly like, yeah, that'd be crazy. That'd be amazing. Oh, wow. When you make a weapons check, you get use a D10 as your bonus die. Whoa. You also get another title, another lawful title. Blessed by Quellen. Uh, oh. Nice. Oh, by the way, when you get your fourth title, you get an experience. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. You might change your mind on titles. I hate titles and anything they represent. Time to travel, Wendy. A dual travel. approaches. Whatever that means. It's going to be Roy fighting who can roll a ten-sided die now. That's what it is. I like your evenness of drawing, Wendy. This is good. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to bias when I both hit. A comely knight with long this is for the tusks with the most protruding from her helm stops. Oh no! You <laughs> seem like a fine one for a freelancer. She declares as she draws a gleaming blade. In the name of honor and the king, I seek a duel. None shall pass until I am satisfied. She declares gallantly. Make a weapons check, Roy. Me! Oh, sorry. 
Well, we know you have to equip one of those weapons. Okay, I'm definitely probably. doing uh, Axe of Human's Bane. All right. So I can get the extra dude. You need to get higher than or equal to the threat. The current threat is 8 plus the number of players, so it's 12. You can't roll higher than a 12 and a 20 and a 10. Yeah. This, Come this on, cat. Ah! That's a natural one, baby. I will take the stress. Give back the axe. I'm helping. Listen, I, I saw the axe. I didn't mean I knew how to use the axe. Because it's not glowing, Roy. Make it glow. Ah! That's a seven. I thought it was a one again. That's twelve. We did it, right? No, he needs a more. equal to or higher. It's fine. I got it. Okay. I got it. Don't worry about it. I don't know how to use this thing. With the tusk knife, I'm and eventually it. knock her weapon away. Disarming her. I yield. She holds her armored hands up. You have bested me. Well done, stranger. All right, here's your choices. Kill her or accept her surrender. Oh, my gosh. What is can, we let, can we let chat decide? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Chat, chat decide, chat decide, chat kill, decide. Kill the Tusk Knight or accept her surrender. Chat decide. I know what they're going to say. Well, you don't know what they're going to say. They might have... It might be peaceful. Except her surrender. <laughs> surrender. <laughs> I surrender. I, I shouldn't have said this because it's going to take a while for it to actually go through. No, it's great. It's okay. Why a colon? What? Come on, Mike. Oh, People are too kind. Okay, here we go. So, so one and one. I'm going to keep track of surrenders. Somebody want to keep track of kills? They blew by too quickly there. Okay, kill. <laughs> There's I've one, three kills so two. far. Three. <laughs> never surrender. Four, oh wow, it looks pretty five, even. Six. Wait, you, you can't never surrender is not surrender, Z. Six, okay. <laughs> I counted that as Wait, a I, kill. I counted that, yeah, as kill. Seven. Except her death. <laughs> Eight. Wait, I don't even know what serenity now means in this situation. There's a lot of kills. Eight kills. How many surrenders? There's definitely more kills. Well, you were, you were, you were kills. supposed to count yeah. surrenders. You said you were counting surrenders. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Set that. Okay, we kill her. We kill her. That's it. That's fine. Kill her. Off with her head. It's funnier. Are you a knight? Uh, wait. No. no. Knight okay. of the round table. You dance with Great! The table. She cries, but you strike her dead. <laughs> <laughs> you say before kneeling down oh, and looting okay. her corpse. You got a treasure, Roy. Right? <laughs> yes! <laughs> thanks. He's like, no thanks. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, this makes me have, this is armor that gives me plus one. Play. Was this accidental because the axe was too heavy? I love that. Listen, I didn't mean I love it. it. With that voice, kill. <laughs> All right, Wendy, draw. Oh. oh, so rude. Is it a person? It's a person. Number 12. Oh, whose is that? It's like a little oh, is that yours? Oh, no. no. It's a cruncher. I got, he's the accountant. Uh-oh. Alligator. Here comes Chris. Watch out. Cruncher comes up to you discreetly. <clears throat> hey there, pal. Uh, can I talk to you? He asks. <laughs> Cruncher is a whiz with money. As a freelancer, you are not. But that's why you want hangers on like Cruncher. He pulls out the company ledger and starts going over the numbers. You have trouble following most of it, but you come away with a few insights. Some numbers are red. Some are black. The red numbers are bad. The black numbers are good. Cruncher says that if you stop letting cookies shop for food unmonitored, you could have way fewer red numbers in the book. Sounds good, you say. You could totally be in charge of that. He tries to protest, but you quickly exit the conversation. It turns out Cruncher is even smarter than you thought, because as you walk away, you find a coin on the ground. You're already making more money. <laughs> I get gold plus oh one. Oh my wow. gosh. That was awesome. All right. Yes. More? You reach into your purse and find it emptier than expected. It's the person who has the least gold. Shout to the others. Who spent all my money? Um... Scala says nervously. You? Oh! And you make your best pouty face. Don't we have someone who's supposed to help me stop spending all my money on stupid stuff all the time? You hold up a pair of novelty glasses you bought commemorating the previous solstice. I, uh, 
Scala clears her throat. <clears throat> I think. Uh, oh, wait. Sure I see. Never mind. I. Did you do too many? Yeah, I did this. Sorry. I accidentally clicked back. But I almost died. had something happen to me. It was going to be bad. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Uh, where are we at now? Now we are at 82. All right. Mm. Bookkeeper. Can we travel for oh, this? Turn to page yeah. nine. Nine. On the first try. Boom! We're at the River Village. Wow. Oh, that's where your dude is from, Mr. Croakley. That's where we made you. Going up river is no easy task. But the river village of Stinksgood has crocodile paddlers yeah, who like could Florida. be of assistance. Stinksgood is famous for its restful, easygoing vibes and its aggressively off-putting odor. But mostly the vibes. All right, so we're going to put our stuff in the book again. Somebody has to go to this one. But So who's last in turn order? Haggling. Oh, it's Roy. Will. So, Roy, if no one else picks that one, you will have to go there. You have to haggle with the croc. All right, where are you, what are you doing? Let me get my, my purse. I'm going to drink some pick. bug juice. You're going to drink bug juice? Yeah. I'm next. Oh, relax. I'm going to visit the nursery. I'm not very good Wait, at Will. That's this one. Is this like a plant really nursery yet. or like a baby nursery? I'm going to study the map. I mean, I love maps. That makes sense. Oh, you gotta go haggle. I'm gonna with haggle the... with the croc peddler. I'm not very good at the wills, but I'll try to get better at the wills. Alright, I'm visiting a nursery. I can either play with the tadpoles, talk to the nurse, or swim with the babies. <laughs> swim with the babies? Guys, I really feel like if I swim with the babies, they might all eat me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. What do you want to do? Play with the tadpoles, talk to the nurse, swim with the babies. What you doing? I'm gonna play with them, I guess. They're babies. That's it's gotta be cute. Five. Hello, little tadpole. You say to a cutie with big eyes. Hello, big person. She burbles back at you. <laughs> Who's a cutesy wootsy? You ask. I'm a cutesy wootsy. She squeaks well. back. Who's a cutesy wootsy? You ask again. It's me. It's me. And what are you gonna be when you grow up? Now I'm gonna get me a hammer. Now I'm gonna find humans. And I'm, 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 I'm gonna hit them with a hammer until they're dead. You put a hand to your chest. So precious. <laughs> then I'm gonna keep hitting them. Okay, kid, let's not overdo it. Will plus one. Love that. Oh my god. Oh, I got an experience. Hey. Nice. Oh. So good. Okay, who's next? Wendy, you're at the drink bug juice. What does it uh -huh. say? It says mic plus one. Okay. And then you make a mic check. So, okay, is that an experience point right there? Yep. Is that what that is? So, what do I do on this side? You just cross off the first I'll experience. I cross off the first one. Okay. So, do I roll the red and the yellow and the 20? No, no, no just, just the highest. highest one. Okay. So, you're rolling a six or I guess it's an orange. Yeah. Nice. And 20, unnatural. Oh, wow. Unnatural 20. Mm -hmm. 909. 909. This kind of 20 should not happen. I'm not sure you've got what it takes. The juicer lady tells you. To be fair, you aren't sure either. Well, you say, looking down at the glass of brown, semi gelatinous liquid. When in Theodorbus, do as the Theodorbans do. That's what they say, right? Who says that? No one says that. The Theodorbans sure do. Then you slam the contents of the glass down your gullet. It's pulpier than you'd hoped, and the bits of crushed chitin scratch your throat. You only get half of it down before your body declines to continue. This one's gonna pop! The juicer screams. I've got it! Yells a froggy patron who dives for the ground by your seat. They open their large mouth just as you lean to the side and retch, <laughs> but... You summon every ounce of strength you possess and slowly swallow the contents of your leaking mouth. Everything okay? The juicer asks. <laughs> you give one final swallow before gasping for air. Oh, man! Moans the patron on the floor. I wanted freebies! You stagger away, <laughs> eager to leave Stinks <laughs> Uh, luck plus you have the rest two. Of my Wendy, I don't know what's going what on. What is happening? <laughs> what the crap? Luck plus two. <laughs> Wendy, are you a, a still kid? You're well, not a still nope. kid. Good. 
That would have been messed up. You get the title, The Iron Gut. It's lawful. <laughs> I love it. I have a mighty meat machine. All right, Z, what you doing? What am I doing? I'm studying a map. So it says risk minus one. I don't so know what that means. So we take one of those tokens off, throw it back in the bag. Iron oh, gut? sweet. Is that what you said? Oh, which and one do we want to do? Plus four means you go to the top of the list. Which one do we want to do? Does it matter? It doesn't really matter. They're about the same in the bag. Did you say iron gut? What yes. Okay. And Z also goes to the top of the thing. Influence plus four. So uh, he's, oh, okay. He's now uh, here. Perfect. And then uh, influence plus four is yeah. that's what that means. And risk. What a boring four. thing you did. I know. I didn't read it. I just read this. All right, Roy. Will plus one. All right. That gives me another gold. See, if I play this, I would definitely get another thing to cover this up. I don't even want to see it. Okay, and then we have to you do know this. What I mean? Well, they say like it's a 45 second thing. You can kind of quick look if you want. All right, you need That's to make a will one. check. So, because I X this off, do I get the D4? Yep. Okay, perfect. Just the D4. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I beasted it! 18. You did. 911. Oh, no. Oh, no. 911 sounds scary. My friends and I need a crock to go up river. You tell the paddler. And I'm the one you want. She says, putting a thumb to her chest. Been doing it for years. I know how to get you where you're going and safely. But I warn you, <laughs> I ain't cheap. Oh, would you like to improvise a plea for her to lower her rate? There's no penalty for declining. Uh, what do you have to do? Does it tell you the stat or anything? No, this is an improvisation. This is... Oh. You're oh. doing it. Oh, I have to do it? You don't have to. Do you want to or not? Hmm. Yes. Okay, it says, in character, you need to explain why she should give us a discount. Go. Listen, we, we're, we're trying to do the right thing here. We really want to, like, try to protect the town and everybody, so we, it would be really nice if you just help us heroic, heroic, lawful people across the, the lake and, and not have to charge us so much. All right, we're now voting how convincing he was. Thumbs up, it was convincing. Thumbs down, it was unconvincing. Oh, no. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, man. Yay! Yeah, heroic. Heroic. You seem so good, man. You agree. I'm certain we can come to a reasonable agreement. And after an inspiring sales pitch effort, you do. You get the title Master Negotiator. It's a, another lawful one. Uh, uh, also, luck plus one and influence plus three. Where are you? Ooh, You're at the bottom. The bottom. So one, two, three. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't even care about that. Sorry, Z. Um, Master That's Negotiator. All I did. <laughs> and now we read the ending to this one. Honey! Vildamax urges as your party scrambles aboard a small fleet of crocs. Time is of the essence, and the solstice wanes! Where is this hermit we're looking for? One of you asks. Up river! Vildamax proclaims. He dwells in the shadowy recesses of the dam of the dam. One of your paddler's assistants sputters when she hears that. Surely you aren't going inside that accursed place! She gasps and turns to the rest of you. Friends, I beg you, don't follow this old fool into the dam! It was built by the ancients and their foul magics. Nothing wholesome travels those shadowed halls of pitch where light itself dare not invade. There are even those who say... And at that, the frog drops her voice. There are those who say... Humans... Hide away in such places. Oh, shut up already! Growls Veldemax. <laughs> I've been there before! It's dark! Don't stub a toe! That is all you need worry over! <laughs> but as the rattled frog turns to walk away, you see her quickly make the sign of Saint Paco, the patron saint of biscuits and protection against evil forces. Does any player have the title Master Negotiator? Yes! Most folk would start out brave in the rapids ahead, says your guide. Nah, it does. I know a shortcut through the neighboring wetlands over there that will let us bypass that hazard. Trust in me, my friends. I'll get you to that dam in no time. True to her word, her shortcut through the wetlands that sit off the busier river allows you to bypass sputtering rapids and sharp rocks. Excellent! Excellent! Tilda Max cheers. <laughs> All right, Z, you're the cartographer. Draw a dotted line from space 82 to space 84. Yes. Oh. We can we can travel on that path if we, we want to. Oh, okay. 
boop, self boop, through boop. token. Boop, 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 you were doing the exact boop, same boop, thing my daughter boop, did. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was a shortcut. All right, which way are we traveling? Are we taking a shortcut? Absolutely. Oh, we're taking yeah. a draw a token, Wendy. The, oh, the book is now closed. Look at that. I'm equal again. All right, where do we go? 84. For some time, you pass through a serene patch of the river. Then, slowly but surely, the water becomes choppy again. Veldemax the Great seems just a touch excited. Yes! Yes! Veldemax cries, teetering on his crock. Behold! The dam of the damned! The river winds its way through a rocky canyon, and as you turn a bend, a massive edifice comes into view. The dam itself is some ancient monument of perfectly smooth stone, save for cracks in its foundation where it meets the raging water. Mm -hmm. The air is thick with mist as waters from untold heights fall from round portals above, crashing into the river with violent force. Make for the large crack in the stone over there! Veldemax commands, but before the croco paddler can comply, the surface explodes as an enormous tortoise crazed and mutated, bursts up from below. Chardonnay! It bellows Chardonnay. into the air. Chardonnay the mad! Veldemax exclaims. Who can say why the beast yells what it yells? Does it know someone named Chardonnay? Does it desire to lustily quaff a white table of wine? <laughs> now, now, who can answer? We will have to defeat the monster. Or face destruction! What does this remind me of? Why does that voice remind me of? It's very like something and I can't remember. It's That guy's voice sounds like Dumbledore. He sounds like, no, it's not, he sounds I mean, like Gandalf from The Hobbit. Yeah, I mean, they're doing the whole like... Yeah. Isn't that something from Futurama? Yeah! I can't remember. It's definitely like a video game or a TV show or something. That I mean, they have like professional that. voice actors. Anyway, we're stuff. collectively so choosing good. someone to make a weapon check. Roy's got a nice weapon. Yeah, Roy has that sword. That's VM. Nice. Oh. At least there's a plus two on it also. I didn't even realize. All right. Well, what then. do you do with weapon check? Do the actual full thing? Or? Yeah, just make a weapon check. Is it might? Or is it... You need to get oh. higher than the current thing again, which is 12. Okay. And then I get plus two to it this as well. This is which crazy. We had like four of these tokens off by the time we we're at this point. Yeah. Oh, really? Beast. Woo! Short of The tortoise sputters before slowly sinking beneath the water's turbulent surface. The croco paddler sees you all to an enormous crack rent down the dam's surface. You're brought to an area where your feet can find purchase on cold stone, albeit slippery and wet. You make your goodbyes with the paddler, who hastily flees with their fleet of crocs. My companions! exclaims Veldemax. Let us hasten to my friend Jeremy, a lonely soul who dwells within these ruins. The way is not difficult, but take care that you do not fall into some unseen fissure in the floor. Come now, onward to adventure! I love it. Roy, you get influence plus four. You're already at the top, though, right? Oh, dang, okay, yeah. Hey. Um, and you get the title, Shell Smasher, Lawful. <laughs> oh, wait, I already have four, so I should have leveled up by now. Sorry. I like, not leveled up, but, like, got that over there. Um, and then Shell Smasher. All right, Wendy, we're traveling. All right. I'm glad this I have this map. Moment. Oh, oh hey, it's anything? not the moment. Oh, we got a cute little frog guy. What number number 23. Keep thinking we're doomed, and then we're not. Sir Croakley kneels before you and fixes his gaze at the ground. Serving you is an honor, he says. My sword is yours until you leave this earth, or I do. If... You will have me. You hear a few of your fellow <laughs> freelancers snickering behind you. <laughs> Who brought this on? You ask, embarrassed. You mustn't be so humble, my lord. The frog says, groveling even more as he kneels prostrate on the earth before you. Okay, okay. You sigh. Right back at you, froggy. He keeps his place on the ground as the others continue to snicker. Rise already! You shout, a little annoyed. As you wish, my lord, the frog knight says before dismissing himself. What uh, was that about? 
Scala asks. I wish I could remember, you say. I just didn't want to embarrass the guy. With him, I suppose it could be anything. Scala chuckles. I'm sure nobody else would know any better than you. Hmm, that's a very good point, you admit. Who could say? I need to get myself a unique title of my choice and decide whether it's chaotic or lawful. Oh, it's going to be chaotic for sure. I'm going to call myself the Frog Lord. Frog Lord! <laughs> I love it. All right. All right, we are at 85, Tom. Turn to page 41. Ooh. Okay, page 41 is right Wolf here. Keeper. Oh, nope. so close. Mm. Was it, though? So close. It wasn't that close. It was four so pages close. off. Good attempt. Good attempt. Beyond the cracked entry to the dam lie dark hallways. We will need light, Veldemax states. So, someone get on that. You look at each other. Uh, Veldemax? <clears throat> the Great. Veldemax the Great. Veldemax the Great. Couldn't you just, you know, make light? He looks at the lot of you like you've all grown three heads. Make light? What are you going on about anyway? Come, we must find Jeremy. Do show caution, urges Scala, your charming researcher. None can know the purpose of such places, for the ancients left us few clues. Ha! Poppycock! Laughs Vildemax the Great. <laughs> it's all Poppycock! Now, who's got that light? Alright, well someone has to light the way. I'm then... actually, I'm actually going to take one for the team because I want to make light anyway. I'm just going to do that. Okay. Make light! Who's next? Also, oh, green. Do, also yeah. if I do another sense, I get Give to go up a level. Studying so the map like that. again? Now screw that, okay? <laughs> Translate graffiti, scout ahead. They do have little symbols or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Man, there's a chest. I'm going to check it out. Okay. Uh, I need more reroll tokens. Are you kidding me? I want to open this. Wait, translate graffiti? No, I, I, I would be like, what is this graffiti on the wall? <laughs> All right, right, let's do it. Royce first. Okay, so it says sense plus one. Yes. And then make a sense check. Does that give you another experience? It gives me another experience. It gives me the experience number two. Oh, what does that give you? It gives me a uh, story card, uh, 34 gum shoes. He has gum shoes. I have gum shoes now, because I am shoes a gum shoe. made of chewing gum. I'm a private eye, listen. So I didn't realize oh, that, kind that of was gum. a real term. This actually is minus two on your agility. But plus two on two other things. I didn't realize gum shoe was a real term. I thought it was just like, I thought someone had found gum in a shoe in the Rescue Rangers. Uh, kind of oh, like, like song. a gum shoe, like yeah. a Yeah, I didn't yeah, realize that was a thing. I had to do a roll. Just a few uh, months I ago. I six. Bomb it. I got 16. Hey, that's 20. what you want. 4102. Yay. Most rolls seem to be 15 plus. At first, you struggled to get anything to catch, but then you recall the fermented bean dish Cookie had prepared for mess. Mm -hmm. Torches dipped in that stuff take flame like nobody's business. Wow, that was quicker than expected. Grunko, son of Grung, says with a little too much surprise. That's pro ZD, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah. Uh, influence plus four, you're already at the top. And then you can either do risk minus one or heal a stress. Uh, risk minus one for sure. All right, so take one of those off. We'll take that one again. Yes. Keep drawing it. All right, who's next? That's uh, you, Ooh. translating the graffiti. So, smarts plus one. Yeah, wait, that gives me an experience. Oh, you got your item now? I'm level two. I get the box of guns. Box Ooh. of guns? Box of guns, should it says. You be, uh, should you be wielding I'm a those? gunslinger. When making a weapons check, you can use your might, agility, or sense bonus die. Yeah! Nice. You have a box of guns. Okay. I don't need this rusty tool no more. Keep my box of guns. Also, it's ranged. I don't know what that means, but it might mean something. It'll be good. You don't know. Okay, make a smarts check. Check your smarts. Okay, uh, my smarts? Your smarts. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not smart. Dude, 12. 12 is not that Eight. smart. You need at least a 15 or better. Should I take the label? Let me help you out. Oh. Go ahead, try again. I'm going to keep the four. I'm, I'm, I got dumber. Let me I do got it too. Dumber. This is the last time, though, so it is. Dumb. 15, That's I made 15. it! Ooh, just barely. Use a dummy. 
What does that word mean, Dad? Interesting, you say. I have translated the words. They refer to an ancient named Dave and his mother. <laughs> his mother? <laughs> Asks Veldemax. Curious. <laughs> yes, apparently she was a wonderful mother, and everyone who knew her loved her very oh much. My <laughs> word. Veldemax says, stroking his beard. Yes. The author of the missive goes to great effort to indicate she was constantly being loved by everyone she met. Tremendous amounts of love, really. Oh How wonderful. Scala coos. Ages have come and gone, yet this testament to Dave and his amazing mother still stand. You would likely be very proud to know this. Everyone agrees and feels uplifted. Makes the journey ahead seem a lot less daunting. You say aloud, wiping a tear from your eye. <laughs> All right. Uh, I we can either risk minus one or luck plus one. I like the risk minus one. Let's get yeah. rid of the top one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's good for us. I don't need luck. I make my own luck. Nicely done. All right. I am approaching a chest. Ooh. Ooh what kind I of chest? I get 4108. If you describe it, do you get it? Careful! Urges Veldemax the Great. Sometimes something looks like a chest when in fact. It is actually a cunning creature that merely resembles a chest. How in the hells does that work, you ask? I don't know. Just does. But how does any creature resemble a chest? Is it hiding in a chest, or is it holding wooden planks up to its body? No, no, no it really is a chest. Just like one, only inside it's all teeth and tongues and stuff. <laughs> really messed up. That makes no sense. Huh, fine. Grouses Veldemax. Have it your way. Only now that you have mocked my warning, the laws of irony state that chest over there is definitely a monster. <laughs> Have fun. And with that, he stomps away. You stare at the chest. But does it stare back at you? Here are your choices, Z. The chest is really a monster, so I'm going to poke it with something. Or, the chest is just a normal chest, but uh, I'm still going to poke it with something. That one. The chest one? It's just a normal chest. I'm still going to poke it. Got it. You're wrong. You poke the chest with something from your bag, only to have it spring to life and chomp down upon your precious trip. <laughs> you shriek in fear and surprise as a revolting tongue reaches out for you, but you deftly slap it away. You are now fighting for your life, but you try to do it as silently as possible because you don't want Veldemax the Great to know he was right. He was right. Uh, you lose a treasure. You don't have any. Make a weapons check. Okay. What's your bonus for a weapon? I don't know. Uh, we're making a weapon check. Use a d4 as your bonus die. That's boring. Oh, hey. That's, but it gets me a bonus die, though. Seven, eight, nine. Can I re-roll it? You need a oh, two. Oh. Hmm. Is it, can people make help can me re-roll? Yes, go ahead. Oh, jeez. That's worse. Uh-huh. We're all stressed. <laughs> you can do it, see? <laughs> oh! Yeah! That's a 20, okay? 22 is my total. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, it says, is it higher than a threat? Yes, no, or whatever. My weapon has the shock trait. But you don't have that. No, I don't. I couldn't shock it. Actually, you do lose your weapon. Sorry. What? That's what it said. It's a trident. It's my trident. You I ate it. My, my uh, uncle gave it to me. You wouldn't get that, but you still got it with a 20. My papa. You deftly sidestep the chest disgusting licks and deliver a few licks of your own. Not with your tongue, though, but rather with vengeance. You will not be humiliated in front of that annoying old wizard. Blinded with hate, you deliver blow after blow upon the thing. After a moment, there is a loud crunch. The demon chest ceases its attack and emits an awful gurgling sound just before its teeth retract and it swallows its own tongue. The lid falls shut. And just like that, it's an ordinary chest. Inside it, you find a tasty treasure. You can't wait to wave it around and mock Veldemax in front of the others. All right, you get a divining rod. It was in there? You also get a treasure from the discard that's not a schematic. The only thing being discarded is your trident. My trident! <laughs> My bubble's trident! It's back! And you get gold it. plus one. That's what I'm talking about. What is that? That's supplies for the bag. You're a team player. We Yay. appreciate it. I really am clearly a support character. <laughs> <laughs> Fissured Gear no longer uh, is the lead in his own stories. 
Who's next? Uh, strange Shadows. What is that little symbol first? I don't know. It says, uh, will. so choose one of the following. You can parlay, which is will plus one, and then we read some entry. You can attack, luck plus one, and we read some entry. Or you can get closer, agility plus one, and we read yet another entry. Your gumshoes. Oh. Your gumshoes. You could attack the darkness. So I could do luck plus one? Yeah, I mean, it's here. Luck. You, There's no luck. You gain oh, you're luck. right. It's luck plus these one. Are, these no, are it's, luck. it's one of these. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The things that you so desperately you need. You oh, like that? I get one plus one? Or I see well, how Will many I have. and agility both go in here. Luck, I guess you get the token, yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, I wanted agility, so. I'm okay. And I level up. So you get closer. <gasps> ding, 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 ding. And then we read four. Oh, what do you one, get? One, S38. What is it, though? Loaded dice. Oh, nice. Like, I'm going to be a better gambler. If you ever roll doubles, up. you get two luck. And the first time you roll two ones during a skill check, you get snake eyes. The title, snake eyes. Ooh. Okay. That's exciting. All right, so what are you rolling for this? Okay, so I roll a... Uh, Did you get plus one, agility plus one? Yes. Oh, we don't roll. No, we, we don't roll. Something. We just read oh. a thing. What is it, four, one, one, one? Yeah. yeah. Rather than approach shadowy strangers in a dark dungeon, you sneak closer and drop a few eaves as the mysterious folk talk amongst themselves. They talk about their journey and shortcuts taken before arriving at a particularly relevant subject. I liked that dragon, says one feminine voice. We made the right choice visiting her. Funny now, she seemed awfully fearful of that magical cup that keeps beverages cold. What do you make of that? I have heard of such things. Says another voice, this one masculine. Some dragons are especially vulnerable to ice or the cold. I suspect such is true here. Ah, I see. Says the woman. Then we must keep this to ourselves so that no one else ever learns that secret. Having heard enough, you creep back. All right, risk minus one. Yes. Not that one. That has the plus on it. We draw another yeah, figure back in. Fantastic. Cartographer, Sweet. draw something at space 87. They're reminded that the dragon's weak to cold. 87, weak to cold. Uh, I'm going to draw a f cooler. <laughs> All right. And now we're at the end of this, so 4112. At the end of a long hallway sits a crude lean-to made out of an office desk and several folding tables. Shout me! Cries Veldemax the Great. Uh, the heck? Calls a deep voice from inside the lean-to. Veldemax, you son of a gun, is that you? A slimy, middle-aged <laughs> troll man crawls out of the lean-to, looking gray and shaggy, and more than just in a little need of a bath. In other words, classic troll zaddy vibes. The two fellows clasp hands, and Veldemax introduces you all. Jeremy, these freelancers have agreed to help us slay the dragon. <laughs> Everyone, this is Jeremy. He is but one more victim of that vile lizard, and he knows how important our quest is. The troll nods. Oh, yes, sir. I know. All too well. He wipes a tear from his eyes, and when he sees your curious faces, says, My wife was lost to that monster. The mood is somber, but Jeremy gladly hands over a scroll to Veldemax. <sighs> Here you are, my friend. This spell will give you the edge you need. He then pulls another scrap from a pocket. And take this. Tis the combination to the dragon's safe. Good luck, and may the gods grant you the vengeance we are owed. The hermit points you to the exit, and you emerge from darkness into blinding sunlight. Before you stretch his rough country, dominated by a large lake. Near the left banks of the lake is a crumbling temple sitting on a small island. Swirly energies play about it. To the right is an ancient building of imposing size. I have heard of that building to the east, says Scala, pointing to the right. There is much treasure to be found there. Mm -hmm. But so too is there a fearsome guardian. We should not enter unless we feel well prepared for battle. Man, we got a lot of options here of where to go. There's a ton. We should try to find like frost stuff somewhere. 
Are there any cold mountains? There's a ghost. Maybe we get it from the ghost. What's ghost? a ghost? What does that do? Mm. That is a treasure golem. Oh, it's not a ghost. <laughs> Sounds like there's lots of treasure if we go to the I think might have. Well, this is a big old fight over here. We're not that healthy. We have good fighters, but... No, we haven't lost Ben the Child at all. Yeah. All We're right. a little stressed. Do you want to fight? Let's fight. Let's fight. All right. Are we going to go to the treasure golem? The one needs to draw, draw a token first. Yeah, I do. Treasure golem? It'd be a great I one. believe it's this way. She said to the east. Yeah, what is Ooh. that? Oh, well, that makes us draw again. This is a threat. Again. All right, threat. I'm assuming, wait, any of them? That's weird. Yeah, because they're like, those are, there's multiple threats. It could be anything. Counter. Oh, so it's random. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Well, the Max grows agitated and consults his pocket watch. The window draws to a close. He mutters. Mm, perhaps I've missed it entirely. Difficult to say these things. Difficult to judge. Doodlers. Lay apart. I should probably call the whole thing off. His grumbles grow less audible, and he takes an irritated swig from a flask. All right, we're gonna roll a twenty-sided die. Anybody can gain stress to plus one to re-roll the die. Warning: If the roll result is higher than the current threat, the threat will increase, and the game will get harder. But you will also trigger a crossroads event as a reward. Mm. So we want to roll. Lower than the threat on a 20. Can what we spend threat? my luck? Or you said you're not doing nothing. What is the threat? Threat is 12. It's 8. Plus the number of players. Oh, okay. 6, baby! It is not! Nothing happens. Six. We continue to travel. Let's go! All right, draw a token. What did your draw last time anyway? I don't know. Uh, plus. plus an extra token. Oh, great. And we some, uh, supplies. Oh, hang on. What are oh, I can trigger stuff as supplies. Wendy, well. I'm giving you this follower. It gives me plus one gold when I do that. Hey, Wendy, I'm giving you this follower that heals me when hey. I do that. Hey, Wendy, I'm giving you uh, an earful I for not to... being helpful. <laughs> I want to discard. Do when, these go back in the bag? When can you discard these, Tom? Hey, you guess whatever you want. This says I can discard it to gain uh, two followers. Okay, well, here's your two followers. Wendy, throw four and six in the bag. Yes. Do I need to throw these ones back in the bag now that I got them? Were you already holding those when I handed that to you? I was drawing one myself. Okay, so to say, holy smokes, I got Maverick I was going to do before I even did Maverick? it. Maverick, I get it. I got Strider. And 14 goes in the bag, too. And 14. Well, out of campsite or tavern, I give this to another player to gain a wound, but for luck. Wait, so we these ones... We fight, but... Wait, Tom, yeah. these ones in front of me do That's what? cool. He lets me reroll. This tells you what, what you can do with each one. Okay, but they don't go back in the bag? No, no, no. Oh, okay. It's only once. Um, That's cool. We are at, Tom. We're going to go for a spider, by the way. Crossroads. Okay. All right, crossroads. The party passes this is through for the a tiny hamlet. It's little more than a handful of buildings lined up along a dusty road. You're minding your own business when you hear a voice with a heavy drawl say... Well, look at what we got here. You glance over and see a scowling mur leaning against a wooden post. Three guns hanging off her belt. You fancy yourself a gunslinger, huh, kid? Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm a gunslinger. What of it? I'm more gunslinger than you. Say nothing but give your best squinty-eyed sneer. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> your box of guns. A gun hits the road in front of you, bringing you to a stop. Now, I know you didn't mosey into my town, bringing your stinky squid out with you. You giving me a squinty-eyed sneer, kid. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I am one of it. If you don't know for sure, then your eyesight ain't so hot, and it should be hot because you're a gunslinger, and you know gunslingers need good eyes. <laughs> I love that. I can say nothing, but give your best squinty eyes stare. No, I'll do that really long one. <laughs> do it, you gotta do it. Another gun hits the ground by your feet, and you are forced to take a step back. My side's just fine! Snaps the mur. In fact, I know this because I can see you for the cowardly little Carol Patty you are! And I'm supposed to go, nah uh or you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing you are. Oh. Yet another gun strikes the ground, and this time you have to dive out of the way to keep your feet from being hit. Oh, we throw guns! Enough of this! Snaps the myrrh, striding toward you. 
I'll brook no more disrespect from your freelancer mouth. You've forgotten one of the most important rules of gunslinging. You warn her. And what might that be? She demands. Don't run out of guns. <laughs> the Murr's eyes go wide. <laughs> she feels in vain for a gun on her belt. That's when you clock her upside the noggin with your own peacemaker. <laughs> Next time, be a little more courteous to folks you meet on the road. <laughs> you laugh as you relieve her of her wallet. Wow! <laughs> I got two gold. That's all it takes, huh? Which gives you another experience point. Yeah! So gunslinging is literally. Oh, and another the experience! Gun. Okay, got Ooh, it. What do you get? Luck plus two or risk minus one. I want the luck. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Tom, this is what this is when you went selfish. I know. Travel. Wait, where are we, we going? Where are we going? Three spots to go to. Four. So we can go to here, which is a dungeon. We can go here, which is the treasure golem. We can go to 86, whatever that is, or we could camp. Uh, treasure golem, treasure golem, treasure golem, treasure golem, treasure golem. You come to a huge stone building with the word bank still visible on its faded edifice. Inside, you hear a loud rumble, like the sound of an angry avalanche of coins. What in the blazes was that? Feldemax exclaims. Um, I love his voice. Uh, treasure golem, I think. Scala replies anxiously. We could always get off the road and avoid it, says Grunko, son of Grum. Sounds like a waste of time. Feldemax grumbles, looking at the sky. Ah, and a waste of loot, Cookie points out. Roy, turn to page 19. With a single switch of First foot. try. So close. This time it actually was so close. No. Ah! <laughs> it's the mother it's of all minutes. All right, we need to choose one. Are we going to avoid him or fight him? Did you not get a title I mean, for fighting the last one? What are we going to do here if we're let's not fight. fighting him? Okay, let's fight. Let's fight. Let's go ahead and fight. The door opens upon a large chamber of ancient stone. Sweet mother of pearl! Gasped Veldemax. Won't you get a load of that thing? Before you towers an enormous person-shaped structure it's crafted it. from stone. It's made of While the thing is imposing in the extreme, you can't help but ogle the crust of treasures that coat the sculpture's exterior. If we take that thing down, there'll be plenty of treasure to go around. The wizard assures you all. Will you aid us with your magic, Veldemax? One of you asks. No, no point. He answers with a shrug. You've got this, yes. I hate and as he so backs much. away, the enormous golem slowly comes to life, and you groan as it leans down to thump on the floor. It's kill or be killed, lads and lassies. The wizard tries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Z, bring out the lookout. I hate this guy so much. All right, set dial A, that's his armor, to our current threat, which is 12. B, his hit points, is 2 plus a number of players, so 6. We're going to draw two treasures and put them face down without looking at them. All right, this is the golem deck, whatever that means. All right, lock action 4. Action 4 cannot be taken. All right, so someone has to distract the golem, and I guess we cannot endure corruption. I want to attack. attack. I want to attack. We can We're do first. Go ahead. I'm attacking because I have weapons. You do. Nice. But multiple people can attack as well. Who's next? Z, what are you doing? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna read the garbage person. Attack, I'll attack. distract him. <laughs> <laughs> I got good might. All the good? stolen hey, gems. Hey, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just snatch a grab. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? Not attacking. Yeah, well, I was attacked. Well, maybe I'll read the runes. Wait, let me look at the abilities. I'm not very smart, though. What snatch and grab is agility? I'm not really good at anything. I'm going to do snatch and grab. I cannot believe this, Roy. Anyway, I'm understanding why they didn't do so with the last game. No, I'm just kidding. Ready to attack. Okay, I'm just dragging him. First. Will plus one, and then I make a will check. Will, you look at this. I'm terrible. <laughs> Wait, is that the first time you've got a stat? <laughs> yes, I've barely been playing. Uh, there we go. Joseph Ello said that it's two treasures per player. Oh, thank you. Oh. Um, I, Tom, we almost got a hose. Joel has made the app, so I think he knows. 
That's true. Bam! 14, 15, 16, 17. Wow. Ooh, that's that's pretty good. That's, that's the middle one. I'm distracted by that. I'm okay with that. I'll take it. 1902. Does anyone have the title The Distraction? No. Oh, dang. No. no. Okay. You frantically rummage through your bag, desperately searching for something to draw the creature away from the group. But in the meantime, the menacing golem slams its fist into the ground, knocking your companions back. Their desperate screams rattle your nerves, but you succeed in finding something moderately useful to distract the creature. All right, you get influence plus three, but you're already at the top. No, no, you he's not at the top. I'm at the top. Oh, well, now he is. He's not at the top. All right, Z, you get the title, The Distraction. Oh, there you it's your go. your first title. It's lawful. Look at you. Remove any locks from four. Okay. Move the player with the lowest influence on action three to action four. I'm the distraction. Oh, dang it. What happened? Move the player with the lowest influence on action two to action three. Oh, dang. <laughs> All right. Oops. Sorry. Hey, over here! You shout at the golem, waving the object about. The thing's head turns to look at you. Do you throw the object? No. The golem again slams a stone fist into your companions, knocking them back. Ouch. While players in action two move to action three and gain a wound. Well, no one was there. Wow. Maybe you should have thrown the object, Z. No. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think it's... <laughs> You're supposed to distract him. Okay, okay, okay. I did. Well, when are you attacking the gun? What's I'm the distraction. It's my one title. Oh, it's make a weapon check, and if you have... Um, Lightning or whatever. You get plus yeah. 10. Well, that I don't. Happening. I get yellow and the die. What do you need to do? You need to get... Oh, you need to get 12 or higher. Got so many rerolls. Watch me. Nine. You're going to need them. Feel lucky. Feel unlucky. Wait, you gotta do both for one reroll, right? Uh, oh. So you roll a die. A single die, yes. It's okay, I leave that on the one. Jeez. Oh, oh thank God! Oh! <laughs> you got another title! Yeah. And you level up when you get the fourth one you said, Tom? Yeah. I cannot believe this. You guys level up even in the middle of a fight. I'm over here showing him things. I'm like, I can't part with this, though. <laughs> you don't even know what it is. I'm literally the distraction in this party. I love it. Poor what is this guy. plus three? You add that to any check that uses that. Oh, okay. Which is not, this is not that. This is a weapon check. So do I get to spend another one of these? Yeah, go. Keep going. Let's go. Save up his luck for something. Come on. Oh, jeez. Ten. Yeah, you need 12. Wendy, all you need to do is roll the 50% that's higher than 10. So now I should roll this one, right? No. Are my no. odds better? No, your odds are still better with the other <laughs> okay. one. You gotta, spend a, you gotta spend a token. Yeah, I gotta spend a token. Come on now. There hey! you go, finally! 13. Your total's 13. Whew. All right, so you Okay, so him. lower than, higher than dial... Wait, what is it? Result equal to or higher than dial A is dial B minus 2. <laughs> Hey, two hit points. Hey. This think. is interesting how they can use this to simulate every monster's tracks. Okay. All right, Roy. Uh, you get a wound. I guess I'm enduring corruption. Wound plus one. So you take one of those off that wound track. Just one here? And it goes mm -hmm. on your thing. On your heart? Here? Yep. Does it matter? Does it matter? Oh, you have an extra heart? Cool. And then you sure. will either lose a follower or lose, lose a follower, lose two treasures, lose six influence, Take, wait. Why well, wouldn't influence? Who cares about the influence? It's just the order that we pick stuff in. Yeah, why wouldn't you take the influence? I don't, I don't understand know. that one. That seems like if it's cooperative, what's it matter where you're at? I mean, look at influence again. Maybe there's something that if you go all the way down the track, it's bad. But if you want to lose the followers, you can gain more followers later. I don't know. No, take the influence, right? Hey. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'll just get to Remember, the lowest influence people were getting hit on these spots. Remember that? That's true. That's mm -hmm. fine. I mean, it was the lowest influence person on each spot. All right, meanwhile, my agility goes up by one. And you make an agility check. Oh, I got another coin! <laughs> How do you? <laughs> What's the agility check? It's agility a... check. Make it's... it. All right, all right. I got rerolls, too. 
22. Nice. 22, you're good. What I did? 1907? 1907, a, a year. You time the golem's movements, and when it bends down to slam the party, you leap up. Everyone cheers as you hastily scale the construct and pluck something great from its facade. It tries to swatch you, but you leap down before it can make contact. So I look through the treasure cards here and gain one of them, but I also get one corruption. So corruption, the next time I roll a die, I don't get the bonus, but then I will lose one of my corruption. Oh, okay. Interesting. And I get the title Treasure Taker. Action six is locked. Oh, do we keep going on this page? Mm -hmm. Is that chaotic? Sounds like it. Um, well, no, no, no. We're going to do that thing at the bottom. That is chaotic. This? Yeah. So that is 1910. Mm-hmm. Is that'll be at zero? No. No. You can do it! Shouts of Eldamax from his safe so position at the rear. Believe in so yourselves and the power of friendship! <laughs> 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 Are we even friends? Oh, oh my gosh. Not with him, that's for sure. Oh. Not with him. I, I'm going to add thunder to my box of guns. Oh, nice. Whoa. It says, after like rolling that. for weapon check, I can discard it to add 20 and lightning to the result. <gasps> that's like an auto hit on this loser. Okay. Okay. Oh, but the question is, is do you go to A to get bumped down to B, or do you go to Whoops. B to get bumped down to C? Okay, so we lock action four, discard a treasure from his... Deck. Oh, I have to discard one from his deck. Okay. Randomly. Okay. Then spend one time, Wendy. I spent some time doing that. Sorry, guys. Do, 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 do. Um, number I think 14. it's all of us doing our thing, spend time. No, it said specifically. Number 14. Do we wish to flee? No. It's darn tootin' or nah, nah, dog, that ain't us. <laughs> What's the number we just got? 14. Does any player have Maverick? You do. I do. The golem smashes the earth once more, and you call out to Maverick. Like, it really is some luck right now! That's really Maverick impressive. Maverick cowering behind some debris and shouts back. The do what I do when I need luck. What's that? Cheat. He smirks. I can peek at them and then take one. Oh, cool. I get another one. <laughs> That's kind of amazing that they're like in the middle of the Golem encounter. If you pull a, a, a person, sidekick or a friend, a follower, friend. they're yeah. like, yeah, we can throw that in. That's and they had a voice work. And they have voice acting for all of that. That's Are you amazing. kidding me? You also, I just realized this bunny's, the bunny is missing a foot. <laughs> the rabbit's foot. He's got a peg leg. Uh, all right, so we're back here. Now, unfortunately, this time we have to go with both of these. Well, Someone's this is locked. It, you... you you did say lock four. No. Oh, I said, did I say four or six? six right? You did six. say four at some point when you were reading. You're right, I did say that. But it could okay. unlock again, and it's probably going to unlock again and push us back. If we don't distract him properly, like, see, they like a half distraction, also refuse throw to throw it. the thing. Bro, I'm doing the best I can, okay? I know where you live. You're first. Where are you going? I'm going to go read the runes. How about that? You guys figure it out. <laughs> I would like to figure out a way to actually spike, attack him. Okay, because I'm a fish person. Because my name is Fisher Gear. I'm gonna try to bind that golem again. Bind him. Or are you gonna try to attack again? I'm last, so I would. Oh. I would try to. Attack I'll him. distract. Go ahead. Okay. The question is, do I do bind the golem, and if you fail distraction, I go down to attack? Ooh. Um, what is distraction again? It's a will. Because that's what happened last time. The chance of me failing is is reasonable. But it could be different. They could have something totally different I'm happen. This. That's what they expect you, you to guys. do. Come on. Well, I'm going to try to game the system and see how, right, how much my hat messes me up here. Come on. Well, you have curse, so you don't get the extra bonus. You're back. right. It's right. just a 10. Roy can help you. <laughs> I'm wounded. I will re-roll once. I'll re-roll once. I got to re-roll token. Eight. It's worse. You got another re-roll token. <laughs> Nine. Stop hitting the book. I think... I'll just, give you one more. Oh, man. Seven. 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 Wow, you keep rolling the All right, well, let's see what happens. Well, I thought I was really bad at this. Does anyone have the title Easily Ignored? No. <laughs> you frantically rummage through your bag, desperately searching for something to draw the creature away from the group. But in the meantime, the menacing golem slams its fist into the ground. 
knocking your companions back. Their desperate screams only frazzle you more, and you find nothing of use. Influence plus three for me. I get the easily ignored. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's not good for the same my full <laughs> Guys, I got so much experience! Oh my goodness! Really I've learned so much! Now, did you just do a test so you should get rid of that? Yes. I did, that's gone. Also, the lock comes off here again. Anyone on action three gets a wound and they move to action four. Everyone on action two gets a wound and they move to action three. Wow, so wait. No. We take face? one of those off and put it on one of your hearts. If there is no spot on your hearts to put it, we throw them in the bag. Because they'll get pulled from the bag. When they all come out there, we lose. Oh, Ooh. dang. Ooh. You say we, right? Do you mean including Fisher gear? Or just you guys? All right, we're in action three. Who wants to go first? I think technically Wendy has to because she's hiring. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right? that's probably true. All right, make a weapons check. Okay. I'm escaping. Weapon or not, here I come. You're reading the room. The runes. I'm reading the room. Yeah, and the room is not looking <laughs> good. We're all going to die. 14? 14 do it? You need to get 12, right? So 14, 14 should do it. 14 is, uh, yeah, it's solid. Okay. Sweet. Okay, I'm also going to do the thing. The mighty Come on, Roy, kill it! You do. I it. got 19. Nice. Sweet. Before the golem dies, read quick, read something. I'm going to read the runes. <laughs> smarts plus one, and then I get a smarts test. Here I go. Watch this, okay? This is how you do it. I'm getting ready to stress out, and you're... <gasps> 21! Natural 20! Wow! 21! 1909. Yay. I'm a rune beast. You notice the elaborate carvings on the golem's body. Mm. Wonder if they might offer some clue. You read them aloud, and as you do, the construct begins to vibrate. Metal shakes and resonates, and the stone walls crack. You feel proud, but the words themselves somehow make your teeth itch. You get one corruption. Dial A goes down by three. Dial B by two. I did it. I killed it technically. <laughs> what that was it? That was it. I get no, nothing. You would have done two to the I would have did nothing, okay? I want a title. The Magnificent. Fish McGee. <laughs> something. The Rune nope, Reader? Boring. The Rune Reader, yeah. Anything. Sushi. We're going to just call it sushi. The Golem locks in place. And after teetering for a mere second, topples over. And smashes into the floor. A cry goes up as the party celebrates its success. Great work, everyone! Cheers, Veldemax. Now the only thing that awaits us is a far more terrifying dragon! <laughs> the celebration halts as everyone glowers at the unhelpful dwarf. Come on! He insists, waving everyone toward the newly opened exit. So then we get all the rest of the cards that weren't taken, split between everybody. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. wow and everyone gets plus one what? gold. Do we do it randomly? No, no, it says we decide any way we want. Okay. Do we get plus yeah, one gold? Go ahead and take all everybody gets plus one gold? Yeah. I go up another level. Or not another level, no, but it's another garbage. experience. It's a star chart. I'll probably take that. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Are there any weapons in there? There's one. Flaming. It turns something else into flaming, so plus two. That's the opposite of what we need to hit the dragon with. That's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, someone's point out, like, shouldn't we be like, yes! Yeah, right? The gold in our pockets. <laughs> I'm taking this uh, star chart. I'm a beast. This is cool. We never even saw this. It's all the gone when we played. Oh, interesting. Um, no, this isn't really helpful. Uh, Mike is like, look for cold weapons. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Where? <laughs> we did. We went to the treasure golem. We were hoping. I mean, shuffle better, Tom. Do you add this just to another sword? Yeah. Okay. Um, if I heal one hit point, does that mean it go? This goes back on here. Yes. Perfect. So if I add this, then it's flaming. Yes, yeah, so you just yeah, add it to one of your weapons. Fencing blade. Like my box of guns has this thunder. Feel the thunder! 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 Edward, you say, have there been crosswords? There definitely has been. They're just all in the app now. Like, we mm -hmm. just had the guy pulled from the bag. It happened in the middle of the battle. Like, when it gets a thing, we'll say, does someone have this thing? 
Oh, is this okay. person in the party? Yeah, this is for the sense. gunslinger. It's all yeah, very a lot of much that built way. into it. Yeah. Okay, I get a when I equip this card, I get a corruption and two gold. Mm -hmm. How do you discard treasure cards? Let's get another treasure. Oh, so if I want to discard it, I can discard yeah, it. Yeah, but well, they only this might be a weapon or something. I don't know. Nope, it's not one of those. It's garbage. So how many of these can you have? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. So if I discard this, then. I can steal a treasure from another player, and they gain a gold. Done. Yes. Anything good? Anything good? Anything worth stealing? If I steal his uh, unhealthy thing, do I get the unhealthy? Do I get the the damage? What unhealthy thing? I put a, a damage on the the fog cloak. I guess. Try it and see. What does it yeah. say? Try it. I don't know. Well, take what? it. Touch it. Take it. It just says that I discard and then you get gold. <laughs> no, Z needs gold. Hey, Z, give gold. me a treasure. No. Give me a treasure. You no, get gold. No. Let me have something. Alright. All right. What do I get? You one get gold? gold? You get a gold. Yeah, which moves the thread down one. Look at what my gold does. Hey, I'm helping the party. Hey. <laughs> Mine gives me followers. Back in the back. I get something for. Alright, these are gone. Get this back in the bag. I think actually because of time and stuff, I think this would be a good place to stop. We just mm -hmm. need to go on my note, and then we're not spoiling the final boss and all that. Okay. Mm. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, there you go, folks. That hey. is, what did you guys think? I did great. That's hilarious. I love it. The hey, writing the is writing? really top so notch. The, the voice acting. acting. The, yeah. the writing, fantastic. The voice acting is so good, I wouldn't play without it. Like, oh, for sure. They always, sometimes they put it up before the voice acting is done. I'm like, I'll wait. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's so good. And I like that these have all been fun. Like, the, I remember in Forgotten Waters, there was occasionally the action that was necessary that wasn't as interesting. I know you had a couple. But other than that, like, I think they've yeah, all no, been I'm, really I interesting. I thought it was funny that I'm very much a support character, but I'm just playing it up. Yeah. Is this game... I haven't played Forgotten Waters. Is it it's very similar? It's extremely similar. similar. Yeah, yeah. It's similar. The difference with Forgotten Waters, there's a map that you move your ship across and stuff. So like this, though? Same thing as this, but it's just on a... There's like tiles. I think like you're hexes. flipping tiles and things. Yeah, I, honestly, you're, I honestly think this is a little bit more accessible with like the dice and just checking the stuff off. I mean, mm -hmm. Forgotten Waters is that way, too, but I feel like Forgotten Waters would maybe a little bit Forgotten Waters, you're in the book almost the whole time. This yeah, has this a lot has more a lot off... Of App stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like these decisions being sprinkled in more. This world building, post humans, weird mutated creatures. It's like adventure it's time almost. So it's very adventure time. Yeah. Right. It's very tongue in cheek, the whole thing. It's just great world building and writing. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, that is it. That is Freelancers. It's Plat Hat. I know you can. It was at Gen Con. I know you can pre order it now, though. It's coming out soon. So, there you go. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Wendy Yee. I'm Roy Canning. I'm Z Garcia. Have fun. Right, right in the crocodile. <laughs>